make sure and stay tuned all the way to the end because you'll be able to save 65% off the Axle GS earbuds. Well, we've had some action today. We saw two really nice bucks. One was real dark horned and he was gorgeous. Just wouldn't give us a shot opportunity. It's tough and uh, didn't make it happen on that one. And then we saw another buck. We were driving and Beto spotted a buck. He was bedded down and he was not giving me a shot opportunity. He was perfectly covered up in brush. And finally he stood up and he just took off and went up over a ridge and we haven't seen him since. So now we're up on this point and we're glassing and we're gonna try to make it happen, but it's definitely been a hard hunt. These are some smart deer. John, did you see him? He's up on the ridge up there. Well, there's another one. There's one behind him. Drive forward, shoot if we get up there quick. Come on. So finally, we come around this bend and there's a big buck. I can see him with my naked eye. <laughs> Finally get the gun up. Lo and behold, it's been Sethas. He's hit. Turn it off. Turn the truck off. Turn the truck off? How far? 130, 130. Here it goes. Nice. Was that a hit? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. What are you talking about? Is that a hit? Yeah. <laughs> the ground, man. He dropped? Yes, he dropped. Yeah. What are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> When I pulled the trigger, I felt good about it, but I, I didn't see what happened. I said, did I hit him? Did I hit him? And they said, he dropped. He dropped right there, which I just, I can't believe. Dropped like a sack of, what do they call it? Drop, drop like a sack of potatoes. Drop like a sack of potatoes. So Sierra Game Changer is Mexico approved. I like that a lot. That's my little girl. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Talk about spread. Here you go, let me see the rifle. That is the <sighs> same buck, Maddie, that was in that creek bed the other day. No kidding, and down to the last day. We saw this buck on the first day and just couldn't get a good shot at him. And the guys started calling him pincitas because of these pinchers. Same buck. <laughs> I'm telling you, I. I had no idea he was this big. I knew he was big, but no. I had no idea he was this big. Brow tines like that oh, yeah. on a mule deer is unheard of. This and is, his spread? Yeah, I don't know how, how wide he is, but hey, let's do this. We can see how wide he is. Let's lay that little proof rifle across here. Look at that. <laughs> That's how wide he is. Honey. A 6'5 Creedmoor <laughs> width. That buck hit the deck like right now. Oh yeah, and this is just the cherry on top. For me, I've never been to Mexico before and my dad's always ranted and raved about it, especially El Chaparral. And for me to come here, everything's been over the top. The food, the people, the culture, and the hunting. The mule deer, you're not gonna find any mule deer like this anywhere else in the world. So it still doesn't feel real. I'm so grateful. So thank y'all all. We gotta celebrate now. This video is brought to you by Axel in the GS Extreme All-in-One Wireless Earbuds. These earbuds provide protection from high frequency sounds, but enhance your ability to hear low decibel frequencies like a big buck sneaking up from behind your tree stand. Click the link in our description now to get up to 65% off your pair today. He's moving to the left. I'm shaking like a leaf. He's behind the brush, just calm down, stay there. How far? 347, he's walking up. 